and I feel it. I don't know who it is out there. I don't know what you've gone through, but it feels as if you've lost something. Whatever this something is, it was near and dear to your heart. And now that that thing is gone, you don't know how to move forward in the energy of understanding that loss. And I'm here to tell you, it's not up to you to move forward. It's up to you to surrender and to allow yourself to feel what you're meant to feel. There is transformation in that. There is joy in that. There are all of these special things that spirit does when you lose something that you never in a million years thought you'd ever lose, whether that be a parent, whether that be love. And I understand we are all set to return to dust at some point. Death is just as natural as life. But that does not mean that you are going to adjust to that loss without truly feeling what it means to have that thing that you wanted to always have removed from your life, okay? Right now, I'm going through a really difficult process and I'm accepting the grief of my grandmother. She just passed away. And every time I see my dad and I see that he's sad, it makes me want to fight. But there's nothing, there's nobody to fight. But it makes me so angry because nobody deserves to feel that way. And what way am I talking about? I'm not saying that this is anything that's abnormal or unnatural. But there is something special that happens in your relationship with a parent, with a mother, with a brother, sister, whatever, when you finally see who they really are and you recognize their humanity and you recognize just how deeply they were touched by the life of somebody and now that that life is gone and they feel the deep depths of that despair and that anguish and that loss, you can't do anything but rest in the presence and the glory of God and knowing that God is using that pain that this person is going through to not only transform them because there's a transformation happening, but to transform you. Being able to witness something so deep can make you into God's most valuable servant. It can turn you into the most powerful human being in this world because suffering is unimaginable, but we don't have to suffer in our grief. You know, seeing that you have the power, I have the power to go over there and cheer my dad up. You have the power to go over there and cheer up your friend. You have the power to change the way somebody feels about what it is that they're going through. Even if just for a minute, a moment, 30 minutes, an hour, you can be that one thing that that person needs just to put a smile on their face. Nothing detrimental going to happen. There's no, there's no right or wrong. There is nothing bad that's going on. But you want to give this person hope, inspiration, and joy moving forward. Because that's the true beauty in accepting the loss of a loved one. I tell you what, the moment when my grief turned from shock to anger, I was confounded because it was equal parts exhilarating and equal parts terrifying because I wanted to know what it was that God was going to do with that rage that I felt at the fact that I had to watch my favorite person grieve his favorite person. It's tough. But you're tougher okay god is glorious and he deserves all the glory and if you put that in your life for a reason for you to see it for you to witness then all glory be to god amen